take one of them. So I've been talking about Bagua, you know, I've been hearing a little indirects from the other, other Bagua fantasy fighters. So there's a lot of thought with Bagua is in you approach your opponent, he got his hands up, and you're going to dare try to walk around the circle and get your face in. But what is the circle walking for? So one way, like you see with Chi Sao, Chi Sao men can train their sticky arms using, you know, Chi Sao. You know, um, Tai Chi can train they thing using push hands. So with Bagua, you can train the art of walking right here. You're walking in the circle. So now the object here, it's the same thing, except now you're learning how to attack. Like how a Bagua man would do, which is grappling, spinning, footwork. He has to react to it. So, what does all that lead to? Like, what, what would that help you with? Now, where could the Bagua principles help the boxer? Because I was talking talking about this with my homie, not it's a real fighter, and it's like, you got a lot of people with these Kung Fu fantasies, you're not doing no lifting moons in the fight, but the principles of these techniques can be used. So in Bagua, they have a lot of stepping off, offline, so where could that be used as a boxer or someone using 52? You know what I'm saying? So, Offline stepping. And, and the grapple, right here in the grapple is where you can start. Now, we're not thinking about taking him down because he's a boxer, but we are thinking about. So staying connected to him. Almost like what Julio Cesar Chavez can do to you on the inside. Head weaving on you. Who you are. Around you, Spin Lord. around you. This is what Bagua can bring to the boxer or the 52 man who's using this, who's taking shots. Turning off, connecting to his man, holding the head. It's your boy.